What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. It's time to do another installment of the solar shed uh, redo project and today we're going to be doing demolition. So I'm just going to kind of do some time lapse work here. Uh, just deconstructing everything, taking it apart, kind of figuring out what we got that's still good, what's what's uh, bad. Um, you know, carefully taking apart all the components and all the wiring and uh, you know, testing all the batteries and all that kind of stuff and see what we got. So here we go. So clearly I think we forget sometimes exactly how much crap goes into a solar panel system, even one as relatively small as mine is. Um, you know, I've been working on this probably for a total of about 45 minutes now and uh, we're still not, still not done. There's a lot more wire to pull out. Uh, there's still some, you know, my garden stuff. There's another load center, a couple other switches and stuff like that. So. But this is, this is the majority of it, and as you can see, I've got all my batteries laid out here. Uh, I'll do some, some testing on them. You know, I'm going to use some of these as cores to turn in for the, the Trojan batteries if, they're, if these are dead. Uh, one interesting thing I wanted to show you, uh, I don't know how this happened, I've never even seen this before, if I can zoom in a little bit here. As you can see on this, this terminal here, it sheared off as I was as I was removing it. it, I felt it was a little snug and I didn't think anything of it and I just over torqued uh, you know loosening the the lug there and it just came off. Now luckily you know these batteries are from 2013 they were my first two batteries I ever had these two golf cart batteries and so uh, they've taken some abuse and they're probably tired and worn out anyway so it wasn't a big loss but uh, but I thought that was interesting and and surprising as I was taking this apart all right, there we go. It's all cleaned up. That's just uh, for the lights, for these LED corn cob lights, uh, as well as those little wires hanging down. And that corn cob light, that's all staying. And then this wiring for the solar panels is just hanging out there, waiting to, to go in. And then this, this switch and that switch control the lights. So that's pretty much it. Everything else has been gutted. Uh, hasn't looked this clean for years. Of course, I've got a big mess to clean up, but that's that's okay. That's part of projects. That pretty much wraps up the demolition, though. Uh, so we got it all cleared out. I'll clean it up, vacuum, all that good stuff, and get it ready for reassembly, um, which will start with some batteries, hopefully in the next couple weeks. Okay guys, um, we're up here on the roof looking at the solar panels now. Uh, if you haven't watched the original uh, video series on this, then this is probably your first peek at these because I don't get up here very often. Um, these are DM solar solar panels. Uh, the first two are 145 watts each. The second two are 158. And that was just because the, uh, the f they discontinued the 145s before I could buy another pair. And this is my improvised mounting system. Um, again, just watch the original video if you are curious more about this. But I just wanted to take this time to inspect it, make sure there was no damage. It's obviously dirty. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this thing off a little bit, although it's probably gonna rain today. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd show this to you, do a little maintenance uh, inspection while I can. Okay, we're finally going to test these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a voltmeter to get a voltage reading and then I'm also going to use a refractometer to get a specific gravity reading of these and determine which ones are dead and which ones can still live to fight another day. According to this, everything looks good. The, vet, the voltages check out. Now keep in mind these have been sitting for probably six weeks now disconnected. So uh, you know they're going to be a little bit lower than, uh, than charged up. But these are all deep cycle batteries so these voltages are fine. So to get a better idea now we need to get the specific gravity of the cells of the batteries and see if we have a bad cell somewhere. The final results are actually what I would expect to see from these batteries. Specific gravities aren't bad. In these old golf cart batteries, they're de they definitely need an equalization, but there aren't any dead cells. And in these uh, hybrid deep cycle batteries, they're very remarkably consistent. But I may just keep pretty much all of them except the one that broke off the lug. That's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the future episodes in this series.